Good morning, we're parked. It's 1036. Time to go get three classes done on this beautiful Thursday. It's just about 65 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. It's good to be here. Oh, I think I like DTS the weed. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's not a five. It's just a lightning cable. Made a uh, little unboxing video for the tech channel because, um, well, it's new. It's new technology. Maybe somebody wanted to see it. Turns out the little USB ends a little bit smaller. The cable's an inch longer. Feels a little bit higher quality, and the lightning connector is tiny compared to the 30 pin. That video will go up today on Ryan Knows Tech, so check that out if you care. It's only like two, two and a half or three minutes. Um, I ordered this thing a week ago. It got here today ahead of the iPhone 5, but I figured, you know, since I've had, or since I have a lot of these cables, one for the 4S, one for the 4, one for the iPad 2, no, actually, I think I, I sent that one out with the iPad 2, but I, I have three or four of these floating around the house, and with the 5, since it's a different connector, I'm always going to have the wrong table, the wrong table the wrong cable, so I did buy another one. And the price is $10 cheaper. They're on that now only 20 instead of 30 so that is that. I did get more work done this afternoon over there. Got that yard done, uh, so now that's three on that side, and the one over here, mine needs to be done. I've got leaves down, and it's kinda high, so maybe that'll get done this weekend. Update on the iPhone 5, the tracking number, uh, finally Apple sent me the email, but I figured out a few days ago how to get it from UPS with a reference number. So mine's delivering supposedly at my grandparents' house tomorrow morning before 10.30. So I'm going to go over there at 10. If it's already there, great. If not, I can stay until about 12.15 to 12.30, and then I need to head over. I've got one class tomorrow, only 50 minutes, my favorite class, so there's no quarrels with that. Then I'll go back to his house if it didn't show up before and get it, and then I have to go and activate it at the AT&T store, which is going to be a zoo. It's going to be miserable to go and do that. So we will figure that out tomorrow, I suppose. All right, gang. Uh, 8 o'clock-ish. It's really dark for 8 o'clock. That sucks. Anyways, I'm going to talk about that iPhone naming now. I know you probably can't see me because it's pretty dark out here, but um, let's start with this. Thunderbolt and Lightning. So Thunderbolt is that insanely fast thing that plugs in through the mini display adapter port that's going to be used for data transfer and hard drives eventually. It's really fast, okay, so that's Thunderbolt. Now we have Lightning, which is the connector for the new iPhone 5, iPod Touch 7, whatever, all the new products, the new iPad 4 will have Lightning. Now here's my thing, Lightning, in terms of its generic sense, Lightning is faster than Thunder. So calling that port Lightning, which runs at USB 2.0, 480 megs per second, which actually turns into about three, um, versus the Thunderbolt, which is gigabit speed, or 10 gigabit speed, whatever it is, it's really fast, that's backwards. So that makes no sense. Now, to iPhones, we had the iPhone. It made sense that it was just called the iPhone. Then we had the iPhone 3G. It was a second generation iPhone called the 3G because of its networking capabilities on a 3G wireless network. Then there was a 3GS, still an iPhone 3G. Now it's the third generation, and the S stood for speed. Then there was the iPhone 4, the fourth generation iPhone, not 4G networking. The 4S was the fifth generation iPhone, excuse me, still not 4G networking. Then there's the 5, the sixth generation iPhone on 4G LTE networking. So why? Well, I think if they started with the, if they called the iPhone 3G, the, the iPhone 2, and then the 3, and then the 4, if they went like that, the numbers would build up too quickly, because this would be the iPhone 6 this year instead of the 5. So, I think we saw a 3, and then a 3S, and then a 4, and a 4S, and a 5. Next year will be the 5S. They'll take it, they'll figure out some new crazy processing technology they'll put in there, make it wicked fast, and maybe maybe a, a more enhanced US OS. Then we'll see uh, the, the 6 and the 6S. So the 6 will be like the 8th generation or 9th generation product or whatever. I can't do that math. So that's what I see happening with the iPhone iPod touches are pretty st standard, you, you get the naming on that. The iPad, we had the iPad, the iPad 3, now it's the new iPad. Apple does not call it the iPad 3. Why? I can't figure that out. What are they going to call it next year? The, the new, new iPad? I don't understand. 
I've been thinking about that a lot, and I don't know where they're going with that. And maybe they don't want to do what they've done with the iPhone and put themselves in a perpetual loop of having to add a number to the product. So <clears throat> in 10 years, it'll be the iPad 10 or 13. But they can't just keep calling it the new iPad. I don't know. I don't want to talk forever about this. So leave me your thoughts below with where you think Apple's going with the naming of their devices. The other thing I was going to talk about yesterday was that uh, protest thing at, at Kent State. I don't know what that was about. I was up in the student center watching YouTube. I watched this guy come up with a sign and he stood there, he stood there with it and said, uh, Jesus saves from hell on one side and the other side, you need Jesus. And I thought, okay, whatever. It's a free country protest or you stand there and peacefully protest. I don't, it's not protesting, but you stand there and say whatever you want to say. And a couple people started walking up and it looked like they were arguing with him. He didn't make any, do anything wrong to argue back with him. He just stood there with a sign, and then more and more people showed up, and then a cop came up and talked to him, and I thought, what's the cop doing? Come on, he know he's not doing anything wrong. Leave him alone. And then more and more people, and then this, somebody stood uh, near him with a big sign that says, I don't believe in God, and I still have morals, and that's, I probably wouldn't have done that. I agree more with that, but um, I am agnostic, for those of you who don't know. Anyways, I thought it was interesting. By the time I left school, there were probably 150 or 200 people around him when he's shouting and yelling things at people going by, and that's where I would draw the line. You can stand there with your sign and talk to people who approach you, but when you're yelling at people going by you, um, saying that, you know, if you don't believe in God, you're going to hell, well, you can believe that all you want. I don't care. I think you're wrong, but you can believe that, but you don't need to yell that at me. That's kind of forcing beliefs rather than, than, I don't want to say preaching, but you know what I mean. So that's what happened yesterday, and that's the thing with the iPhone naming. I'm sorry that took forever. So I got that video up. It's still nice outside. It's like 66 degrees. Usually by this time of the night, it's in the 40s or 50s. Tomorrow, Friday, iPhone day. Go in grandparents' house at 10. It's supposed to show up by 10.30. If it doesn't show up by 12.30, I'll go back and get it later. I think I already told you that. The new video is up. Working on the Watch Later playlist. Got some articles on Tech Inform. Talked with Mike yesterday. Been very productive this week. Hope we can keep it up.